Welcome everyone to Holiday Hills, a nice quarter-sized parcel on a sim that I found in the Second Life. I believe it was a destination guide, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I like the place quite a bit, and I'm pretty, I'm fairly used to doing full sim videos, but uh, I also want to get in some smaller places as well, so I thought this place would be a nice fit for that. And I came by yesterday actually and ended up uh, saying hello to the owner who was here, who seemed like a pretty nice person. Uh, they were skating around the ice pond in the middle as an elf, which we'll see the ice pond in a bit. But yeah, we're going to be taking a look at this place today, and uh, you can see some deer hanging out over here. I do love the outsides, that uh, I did get to show a little bit of the outer region stuff. I always love that kind of stuff. See, there's a couple other people here as well. Place has always had at least like one or two people at it when I've came so far, so it seems to be a fairly uh, active place. I think actually there's three people at the moment besides me here. Got a little port here with the iced over water here. There's a nice little waterfall off this way too, which makes it look really nice. The lighthouse over here too. I do get a little bit of an FPS drop here. I guess there must be a lot of like complex stuff on here. Presumably more towards the middle, I think. Nice little swan uh, ship looking thing over here. It's kind of funny how it's iced over, but it's still like moving around like it's on water. Obviously, that's an animation that comes with it, but it's still kind of funny. Yeah, you're going to have a little bit of choppiness here. The one thing I did notice uh, the other day when I came here is that these buildings here, for the most part, I think they're more for just being on display. Because they're actually empty. There is a couple buildings uh, more towards the entrance where we came from, where those two people were standing at. Yeah, those two, that one right over there to the right. Um, that one I know has some stuff in it, but I believe some of the houses around here are just for, like, show or making for good pictures as well. We got some more deer over here wagging their tails about. Nice little view of the lighthouse over there again. I believe that's off region but I can't quite sure. I'll come over to it when we get over to that end. But here we actually have something that looks pretty comfy here. We got like a... I guess this would be like some sort of a uh, Ski pod or something. But yeah, it's set up to be like a bed, which is pretty nice. Let's get cozy. And we got the same house before, also empty. Now this one does have a an umbrella holder in front of it, which is nice. And I think we'll just go all the way around and circle back over because once I turn around it's probably going to get really choppy again. So may as well get the outer first before I continue back towards the way we came. Really nice looking lighthouse and the background around it makes it look really nice. The wind light is really nice with the sun being there all pink and basically Missed it over from the clouds. We got some swan boats, or maybe these are more like flamingo boats over here. Just left over beside. Now we can see the middle of the ice pond right here, and there's a giant tree in the middle of it. That's the centerpiece uh, Christmas tree, I'm pretty sure. Nice little swing set there. And we also got a couple bridges here, which is pretty nice. Overall, it's really nicely designed here with the pond in the middle and the river uh, sides that go out into basically like an ocean. 
and the bridges that go along the inlets and outlets. All right, let's go ahead and pop in here. I think I may have to lower draw distance and see if maybe that'll help with the choppiness. Got some milk out here. Didn't get this look inside this building before, but I think this one might be empty as well. Let's take a look. Pretty nice looking spot, but though it does look empty. Okay, I just half my draw distance, so hopefully that's going to help with a little bit of the choppiness to make us keep going forward. Eh, I think maybe there's a little bit of a difference. Can get through here? Yes, we can. And this building is from Never Totally Dead, which is actually one of my favorite stores in Second Life, or at least one of my favorite brands, I guess. They always make some interesting buildings. We can see upwards a little bit more of Holiday Hills here. You can see the building and the train over that way a little bit. The tree is sort of in the way. Maybe when we go up here it might be a little bit easier to see. I thought I was going to fall off the staircase there for a moment because I kind of went through it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really nice looking place. Like, I always want to make something like this, but I never know if I have the, the creativity to actually make up a theme and go with it. Oh, this looks like a snowmobile reser. So if you want one of those, I guess you could uh, res one out and ride around on it out, out here. Nice looking carriage. It looks like, uh, oh wow, I've never seen a tractor uh, lit up like that before. Completely covered in lights. Every single bit of it. <laughs> That's really nice. Of course, I have advanced lighting on, so everything has a good glow to it. It's okay, it's a Christmas tree farm, so there's plenty of trees out. Also one decorated right here as well, along with some lit up uh, deer. Always, always really nice to look at. Santa's workshop. Naughty or nice, ho 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 is welcome. Here we have the train here. Another carriage. This one has uh, some symbols on it. Looks really nice. Let's go ahead and take a look, a closer look to this train real quick. Look at it from the front and then we'll go ahead and just camera our way towards the back. Very nice looking. Two two nine, Arctic Express. I 
I like how there's shallowettes of people on the carriages here. That's a really nice little touch. All right. Continuing on, we have the ice pond here we can take a look at. And besides that, we have that little bit of a, a few buildings over there to take a look at. There's a nice looking dock that's over here too. I wonder if it comes covered in snow or if that's like an add-on or I'm not quite sure, but it is a neat little, uh, it kind of looks broken down too, such so a nice little detail to it. Yeah, it looks like we have the main Christmas tree here. Just go ahead and give a little spin around it here, I think. And we'll go ahead and take the bridge over to what looks looks kind of like an apartment building over here. Which this one does actually have some stuff in it. We have a few more critters out here on the ice pond as well. Some penguins this time. They seem to be enjoying themselves. It looks like the snow is more, uh, it's more coming down over this way for sure. Got a nice bike over here with a sitting down spot in the back, like a wagon essentially attached to it, I guess. Hmm. Got some nice old bird houses here as well. Let's see if I can text refresh this to make it look a little bit better. That looks pretty nice. And I guess this is a tiny little greenhouse back here too. That looks like it has more decorations in it which are all lit up and really nice looking. I especially like this ladder right here, it looks really nice. A box filled with blankets and pillows, everything you would need on a nice snowy night. Merry and bright. And this telephone booth looks like it's just completely just iced in. <laughs> Must have a hole in it because even on the inside it looks like it's covered in snow. We got a nice little coffee stand here as well. Looks like there's oranges and I think some form of cookies. Some coffee cups uh, on the, the second shelf there. Don't know how I feel about orange juice in the middle of uh, winter though. Or just being in cold weather like this. This kind of looks like it's a gift van of sorts. Guess you could buy a present.
me a nice little snowman here. Right outside of this uh, display building. This display house. Probably be a nice spot to have a picture right here, actually. Okay. Looks like the other people are still around here, too. Perhaps thinking about getting a haircut, because we have the barber shop right here. Looks a bit old-fashioned, but that still works out, doesn't it? Gentleman's style. We can see some of the chairs thing about here. Only one has a mirror, though. We can see the picture's a little bit clearer now on the top there. This spot has more of the tools available to us. We can see the different types of cutters and scissors used. And we'll just move along to the middle door here. It actually does look like an apartment in here. And there is indeed things in here to take a look at. Another nice little tree. Staying right beside a window that you can take a look into. Got a grandfather clock in here as well. Nice snug little, I guess you could call this maybe a living room. Or a lounge. Let's see if I can take a look at this book down here. I think I may have to cam to it. Let me see. Because it doesn't look like it's wanting to uh, texturize out. Alright, finally got it here. It's A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. A nice read on a cozy little day like this. Alright, let's go ahead and head upstairs. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at this room over here. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. But we can see a view of the back area of the sim here, which this rock in front of us is the quarter postal line, I assume. Nothing in this room, and there's nothing in this room either. Alright. So there appears to be a third floor, so let's go ahead and just take a look in here real quick. Okay. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the final door. Which appears to actually be... From what I could tell from yesterday, it looked kind of like a collectible room. So let's go ahead and take a look at upstairs first. And we can see many, many advent calendars here. Which I do a couple advent calendars myself. I'm uh I used to do the one that was for kitty cats, so I don't know if they have one this year. I don't think they do. And I also do the one for Appamations every year. Plus the one I've done for Mad P last year and this year as well. But it appears there's quite a few more than I actually thought that there were. So I'm pretty sure just about everything in here is, in fact, an advent calendar of sorts. That looks really pretty, though, right there. It doesn't look like an advent calendar, though. Or maybe it is, I'm not sure. There's little, like, things on the bottom there that may be numbers, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, this is very nice looking.
haven't already. And we'll just go ahead and take a look at look at the uh, bottom floor room here. And we see some more stuff. This actually looks like a lot of uh, collectibles, like I was saying. Nice little fireplace going as well here. It looks like a wooden key by the fireplace there. It's a neat looking thing. A lot of, uh... They look like band members, I guess. And then you see a few things like a tree candle holder and stuff like that. Got the reindeer and Santa collectibles, it looks like, right here. And then we have the area on display by the window here, which is another nice looking tree. Plus cookies for Santa out. We also have Action Jesus, the action figure. You must eat my flesh. <laughs> A nice little horse on a stick there and stuff like that. Overall, a really nice little place here, Holiday Hills. Uh, definitely would say to come take a look at it if you can. And I'll see you guys next time, and a happy holidays to you all.